this is Danielle Handeman with Mom Life Essentials. Thanks for joining us for the next part of our series on uh, diving deeper into essential oils. Today we're going to talk about lemon essential oil and just some of its awesome properties. So we're going to cover four things. We're going to talk a little bit about the history of lemon. We'll dive into its primary benefits. We'll cover some research and then we'll go into practical uses and ways that you can incorporate lemon essential oil into some of your daily routines. So historically lemon trees are native to Asia and lemon as a whole and as an essential oil have been used for thousands of years um, for medical reasons and just overall and kind of natural health. So ancient Indians and Egyptians and Romans all used lemons as a part of their medicinal treatment and herbs. Um, when we think about lemons and citrus, you know, we think about vitamin C, we think about treating for colds. Um, so the lemon peel or the rind, which is what is used for lemon essential oil, is really, really concentrated in some of these antimicrobial compounds. Um, and it's really energizing and uplifting. So it's been around for a long time um, and for good reason. So let's dive into a little bit more of the actual properties of lemon essential oil. So what are the primary benefits? Um, well, the primary top properties of lemon, like I said, it's antimicrobial, um, it's an antiseptic, it's a diuretic, antioxidant, um, it's a detoxifier, a mucolytic, an astringent, and a degreaser. So lemon's used a lot in cleaning, whether that's adding it to household cleaners to clean your floors or your wood, or like cleansing, purifying the air, getting rid of microbes and bacteria. Um, if you think about essential oils based on their properties, um, like lemon is kind of a cleaner and a purifier, right? So that can apply on a variety of levels. It's gonna internally help cleanse your body um, as well as externally cleansing and purifying surfaces. So its top uses are gonna be for kidney and gallstones. It's really great for kidney health. Um, for pH issues and lymphatic cleansing, drinking lemon essential oil can help balance pH. Um, it's really good for congestion and mucus. It's part of an allergy trio that I'll talk about in a little bit, but it's awesome. It works amazingly for nasal congestion and seasonal allergies um, and for a runny nose, whether it's from allergies or from like sinus infection itself or just kind of cold and flu season. Um, it's really good for gout, rheumatism, and arthritis, for a liver and kidney detox. It's a great decrease, degreaser and furniture polish. Um, and it's really actually helpful when you diffuse it for concentration and kind of um, boosting mood and focus um, and just helping balance you emotionally. So the research behind lemon is really neat. So I talked a little bit about a study in my last video that studied 14 different essential oils. Um, so when we talked about peppermint, peppermint's really great for respiratory health. Lemon's another oil that, that was used in that same study. It was done in 2001. Um, they studied the effect of essential oils on respiratory tract pathogens and found that they're um, really effective in preventing respiratory tract infections um, and in, like I said, it's antibacterial and antimicrobial and so it actually like killing microbes in your body that you don't want there. Um, another really neat study I found on lemon is that um, over 141 compounds have been identified in the lemon peel, which is what's used for lemon essential oil. Um, and so these compounds exhibited antimicrobial activities um, and could, if they fought things like Staphylococcus um, and Candida, which is a yeast. If you have some, um, if you tend to get yeast infections or any sort of like fungus type reaction, you may have a Candida overgrowth in your body. So that's really neat that this oil has 141 compounds in it, and that's something like essential oils in general have multiple compounds. And that's part of why we'll talk about one oil and it'll have all these uses. And sometimes it can sound a little bit crazy or a little bit ridiculous, like we're making all these claims. But if you think about it, say like an aspirin has two synthetic compounds in it and its job is to help with pain reduction or pain prevention. If you took those two compounds and added in 139 others, what else could it do for you? So an essential oil may have two compounds that are really good for pain specifically, but it also may have compounds that help prevent inflammation and other compounds that help support respiratory health and other compounds that help cleanse and purify the air. So this is how oils work when we talk about all these uses for them. There actually are the chemical constituents in that oil to back up all of these uses. Um, Another study in 2014 found that the essential oil that's made from lemon peels it 
can inhibit key enzymes that have been linked to neurodegenerative con conditions. So they basically said that the possible mechanisms for using the essential oil, um, that it can be used to manage and prevent oxidative stress-induced neurodegeneration. So for preventing and managing uh, memory loss and just helping make sure that your brain stays fully functional and on point, lemon is a great essential oil to incorporate into your everyday life. Um, and then the last study that I just wanted to point out was specifically, is done in 2012, um, and they did a specific study on using lemon essential oil to make a nasal spray and studied it um, in allergic rhinopathy and allergic reactions. And they found that the lemon-based nasal spray was actually a good alternative to conventional medicine for treating perennial and seasonal allergic and vasometer rhinopathy. So any sort of swelling and um, reaction in your nose, whether it's seasonal allergies or if you have allergies year-round, I'm allergic to cats, dogs, mold, pollen, trees, I mean pretty much everything. And lemon is a staple in my cupboard now. Um, and it, I'm telling you, like, I combine it with two other oils and it knocks out allergies like nobody's business. So that's a great segue. The research shows us that this works. How do we in incorporate that into our everyday life? What are some practical uses for lemon essential oil? One really, really easy way to use lemon is to put a drop in four ounces of water. So I carry around a 16 ounce water bottle and I'll put four drops of lemon in it. Um, and just drink it throughout the day, okay? So in the same way that we've all heard various health practitioners talk about the benefits of drinking lemon juice and water, right? It's cleansing, it's a detoxer, it's good for your liver, it's good for your kidneys. Like I said, most of the beneficial components of the lemon fruit are actually in the peel. So adding lemon essential oil to your water instead of, or in addition to the fresh squeezed juice, if you like the juice as well, is really good just for overall cleansing and overall health. It helps keep your systems running. It's gonna help keep your kidneys functioning. It's gonna help keep your liver functioning and help empower your liver to do its job as your body's detoxifier, right? Um, just a side note, when you're if you're consuming essential oils internally, you always want to make sure that they're of the highest quality. They need to be beyond organic, verified safe, and pure of contaminants. Not only grown without pesticides, but tested to make sure that the soil they're in has not been contaminated with runoff from other sorts of chemicals. Tested to make sure that the oil is not cross-contaminated with things like ragweed. So I only use certified pure therapeutic grade oils, and those are going to be made by doTERRA. Um, so just that's my little aside make sure if you're ever consuming it internally that you really are intentional about the quality and the type of oil you're putting in your body. The other thing with essential oils, especially if you're drinking them, like I said, in beverages or in water, you always want to drink out of a glass or aluminum bottle because oils, their, their components can corrode plastic over time. Um, and so it will not only corrode your plastic, but if it's breaking down that plastic, it means ingredients from the plastic are probably leaching into what you're drinking. And you don't want to be drinking positive benefits of water and essential oil and then also plastics. So stick with glass or aluminum for that. Um, other ways you can use lemon, I like to put it in an allergy blend. So there's the kind of power three for allergies are lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Um, and like we talked about in the last video, peppermint also has really fantastic benefits and has been shown to help with sinus and allergies. Um, so you can buy empty vegetable capsules and you can put two drops each of lemon, lavender, and peppermint in a veggie cap and take it. I do this when I'm feeling really strong allergies. So I have a really, really, really bad allergy to dogs. Um, so we went and visited my grandmother for, I think we were there two nights and three days, and she has two black labs, which shed a lot. So when I was up there, first thing in the morning, I would just go ahead and make a capsule and take it. I did it twice a day, um, and it worked like a charm. I didn't have to do any over-the-counter or prescription medications for allergies. Um, another way to use them is you can put 15 drops each of lemon, lavender, and peppermint essential oils in a roller ball, fill the rest of it with coconut oil, and roll that on the bottoms of your feet, and that helps a ton too. And so that's kind of my, my daily maintenance is usually I'll use it topically. Um, like when I know that I'm about to go outside and sweep yellow pollen in Georgia off of the trampoline so my kids can jump, I'll roll it on my feet and it, it prevents it like crazy. Um, my husband has really bad dust allergies and he was cleaning out the attic a couple weeks ago and he came down and his eyes were bloodshot and he couldn't breathe through his nose and he was like, what do I do? And so he did lemon, lavender, and peppermint and I mean within two minutes he was like, wow, that works so fast. It's very, very effective um, at stopping the, the histamine reactions in your body. Um, 
You can also use lemon in cleaners. You can add a couple drops of lemon straight to olive oil and use it as a wood polish. You can add lemon and some white vinegar and water in a spray bottle and use that just to clean. Um, lemon is a really great, again, it purifies and cleanses. So I take a cotton ball and put, I don't know, five drops of lemon on it and drop it into my trash can because we still have kids in diapers and in spite of all of our best efforts, trash cans just start to smell sometimes. And that does a really good job of helping get rid of those unwanted and lingering odors. Um, so lots of great ways to use lemon in your everyday. You can use it in cooking. It's actually really delicious. If you ever like make your own lemonade um, or do anything with lemon juice, adding a couple drops of lemon essential oil to the lemon juice just helps bring out the richness and flavor of that citrus. So those are some practical ways you can use lemon every day. Again, this is a really great oil. It's really diverse. Lemon essential oil is actually doTERRA's top selling essential oil out of all of them. Um, so it's, I mean, it's a staple. If you don't have it, you need it. It's very affordable, very cost effective, by far the most cost effective treatment I've ever used for allergies. Um, and it's just been a great addition to our family's medicine cabinet, and I know it will be to yours too. So thanks for joining me today as we dive deeper into lemon essential oil, and we'll see you next time for our next installment. Hope you have a great day.